looks at a woman the way Foster looks at you, it doesn't take any imagination now on my part. Now, you try to put it on, it on every angle here. Don't be right. Don't be right. You understand what I'm talking about. Deadly serious about all this, it would be terribly funny. Oh, quiet. Now, I'm just going to go check the lights, then I'll make my speech. Everybody ready. Now, look. Foster may be the quiz kid of the century. He may be the greatest philosopher since Aristotle. He's also a man, and I'm telling you, he's more man than philosopher. Are you suggesting that Foster's interest in me is anything but intellectual? He's about as interested in your intellect as I am. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, my friends. I have asked you here tonight to meet the woman selected to represent the most discriminating publication in the world, Quality. Well, let's forget it and get this thing over. Forget it! When you attack philosophy, you attack my principles and the things I believe in. We're very fortunate to have found out these things now. I am certain you will not be disappointed, for she is a rare creature, chosen from hundreds for her appearance, her grace, her poise, and her ineffable charm. Don't you see, we can never reconcile our differences. They're too basic and too elementary. This is not the time or place to discuss our differences. So please, just let's get this show on. Oh, yeah, let's get the show on. Our personal lives could matter less, could they? Will you please sit down? Leave me alone! Oh, 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 oh,